So it's day 89 and I'm playing in two Easter services tomorrow at a church. Um, and I've forgotten to look at the music at all since we picked it uh, whatever day we picked it. Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't remember. Um, it's just stuff out of, well, one piece out of this book which is probably backwards and won't flip around because I'm recording this on my iPad because again, too lazy to deal with setting up my camera. Um, this is the Solos for Young Violinists book one by Barbara Barber, or rather compiled by Barbara Barber. Um, and she's got a lot of wonderful little pieces in here. Um, so I'm doing um, actually two pieces by Ferdinand Kuchler. Um, you clear with the with the, you with the umlaut. Um, I, one is a concertino in D major, in the style of Antonio Vivaldi, Opus 15, and this is a Kugler concertino in D major, um, Opus 12, without any sort of in the style of uh, anything. So the really cool thing um, that I like about this piece. Is it says it's in the style of Antonio Vivaldi and it starts like this and this is an exact quote of um, well transposed into different notes and a different key um, of the Vivaldi a major or a minor uh, just those that first bar is kind of the same, the same rhythm, almost the same contour. Both starts with sol, do, 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 or la, mi, whatever, mi, la, mi, la, mi, la, sorry, <laughs> whatever. Uh, anyway, so I thought that this is a cute little piece. Um, and then we're doing the other Kukler as well because she wanted some flashy stuff uh, for Prelude. And then we're going to play my favorite little piece um, for postlude. It is called Donkey Doodle. And it is just about the best thing in this book. Um, Donkey Doodle is by William Kroll. And he's just, I guess he's wonderful. I haven't, I don't know if I've ever played anything else by him, but Donkey Doodle is a freaking hit. So, um... Since I've been talking about Donkey Doodle so much and it's only three minutes into this video, I'll go ahead and regale you with Donkey Doodle. Um, there is a piano, a small uh, three beat piano intro, but the, the cutest thing about Donkey Doodle is there's lots of this kind of donkey braying going hee haw. Uh, and the piano starts that, they go bleep bum, bleep bum, bleep bum. Um, so the piano gives me a little intro and then, oh my God, my bow is now loose. Surprise. Sorry. buzzing and my necklace chain is buzzing really bad tonight for some reason um, cool so there's three measures in that that little little run that I need to look at 
that's why I'm making this video. That's why I'm um, going through the pieces that I'm going to play tomorrow. Um, just to find those tricky spots again. So now I'm going to play the Opus 15 Concertino in D major by Ferdinand Kugler. <laughs> I just like saying his name. distracted by a lot of things. Um, brain is all over the place right now. Second movement, Siciliano Larghetto.
wrote all over this in 10 when I learned this in 26, two, uh, 2006. And, uh, and I'm really upset that I wrote in pen. shouldn't be relying on finger numbers because of course I learned this in 2006 and I have a master's degree so I should be able to just read the notes but for some reason these bowings are just incredibly ridiculously distracting for my eyeballs and I can't make out what's a note and what's a horrifically scribbled bowing. Uh, okay so our plan was to play that piece and then we'll play the third movement, depending on how much time we have, we'll play the third movement because I think the first movement of this Opus 12 Kukler ends uh, flashier. So I'll play the third movement first.
I, I can't believe it. Why? How did I get a master's degree and I can't play this stuff correctly? <sighs> Whatever. First movement. telling me that I have problems with intonation that has I think kind of almost ruined me as a player this is an eight measure rest so I'm pretending because um, now I'm just terrified I'm always second guessing where my fingers are gonna go and then they never go down the right spot <laughs> myself all upset. That's the stuff that's going to sound basically that bad in the morning at church. Happy Easter.